Well, hi and welcome everybody to another session in our Women Lead Online Forums brought to you by Connected Women of Influence. And I'm your host today. And today uh, we are going to enjoy a subject matter expert in the hot seat who was actually willing to say, yeah, go ahead and ask me anything. So our session today lasts for about an hour. If you've joined with video, you'll be able to see our guests and the attendees alike. Questions and comments are always welcome. This is meant to be more conversational than, um, than a presentation uh, type of thing. So, but if you have something you'd like to contribute anonymously, just put it in the chat to me and I'd be happy to share it for you. So our topic today is how to be a rock star on video. And I'm really excited to introduce today's subject matter expert, Melissa Tong of Duck Punk Productions. And along the way, I'm sure she's gonna to explain to us what in the world Duck Punk Productions means and where she got that name. But Melissa's got tons and tons of qualifications and certifications and um, happy clients. Uh, with her video and her storytelling and so forth. And the idea behind doing this show was because right now everything is difficult and everybody is trying to move their business online as, as quick as possible. And when you don't know what you're doing, like most of us don't when this is not our our day-to-day -day world, it really helps to have a subject matter expert who can help us figure out how to do it, what are some ins and outs, what are things to look out for, and so forth. So that's all I'm going to say about that for right now. And I'm going to hand it over to Melissa and let her tell us a little bit more about her and why she thought now was a really good time to address this subject. So take it away, Melissa. It's all yours. Hi. Okay, so the reason why, why you know, um, I thought this is, you know, the perfect timing to do this, you know, webinar is because I've been seeing everybody's trying to, you know, scramble and, and, you know, try to go online and try to do video conferencing, try to do, you know, Facebook Live, LinkedIn Live, I mean, whatever platforms they can, they can, you know, hold, you know, virtual meetings and, and, and take the business online. And um, not that I didn't notice it before, but I, I feel like now it's, it's, I mean, there's no better time than now to, to do this because I really want to give you some solid tips and suggestions. So when you do your presentation or your calls, then you can look more professional. Now, so I, I see a lot when I look at people's videos, a lot of times people don't pay attention to what's behind them. So for example, Patty, and this is not meant to be a criticism. Now, the way you, the way you sit, you know, you're kind of angled, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's a picture frame right behind you. Yes. Okay, so if I were to do one for me, I would either move the way I sit or take the picture frame off the wall mm -hmm. so it doesn't look like the picture frame is like right behind your head okay okay yeah because you can see it right yeah, yeah. so it's right behind there and i don't like things that look that that like right behind my head okay I, you know, um so yeah that was the that would be the first thing i do but i i just realized i didn't really answer your question <laughs> so let me go back and answer your I'm on question live feed, live feed, yeah. so um so the reason why why I'm doing this is because I have a combined over 25 years of experience both in front of and behind the camera. Mm -hmm. So I started out as a TV news anchor, reporter, and producer. So at the time, um, they told me I could, they gave me a five minute human interest segment every day. They said, okay, besides anchoring the news, just give us five minutes every day. We don't care what you do, just make sure don't do anything, anything, you know, but I mean, do anything soft news, but don't do any, don't do any hot news. Mm -hmm. So I say, hey, great. So every day I would go cover stories ranging from health, beauty, technology, science, uh, red carpet events, movie premieres, Star Trek conventions, you name it. So in those four years, I interviewed thousands of people from all walks of life and then covered over more than 1,200 stories. So I really honed in on my storytelling skills, you know, um, during those four years. Mm -hmm. And after that, I jumped to the fiction side and worked on a CBS primetime show. And then I started my own company in 2000. So, I mean, I've transitioned, you know, to behind the camera work, you know, for over 20 years now. And I, I, I mean, I shoot a lot of a lot of different types of videos, you know, interviews, um, 
um, brand stories, you know, all the way to high end, you know, um, national TV commercials. And, um, and I noticed that, you know, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of the bigger companies, they have the money to spend on uh, training the employees and hiring, you know, the best people. So they won't make the same mistakes that, you know, smaller entrepreneurs make because some of you guys don't have the budget and the time to do the training and to really learn the know-how. So that's why I think this is just, you know, um, a perfect time to up your skills and make yourself look better and sound better on camera. Yeah. Well, that sounds really good because it, it is true that a, a lot of us, when we are launching our businesses or a time like this, where maybe we're having uh, some problems with cash flow, you know, maybe some business right. has gone away or something. So you're trying to do as much as you can with as little as you can. And there's certain places you probably shouldn't. Um, do that, you know, and, and other places where it's okay. So, uh, so let's just benefit from your expertise. You like what were, what are some of the things that you've seen other than people having a picture frame coming out of their head? Picture frame, I, I tell you, picture frame is not the best, you know, <laughs> but I have seen people who have plants, right? Huge plants. Yeah. And then plants, you know, like the leaves, you know, a big, right? Mm -hmm. So they sit right in front of it. And then, you can imagine it looks like the branches coming out from the ears <laughs> from the head. that I hate the most. <laughs> like keep telling people, hey, you know, make sure you know, you know, like pick a good background, pick a background where you don't look like you have stuff coming out, you know. And uh, I remember this was a while back. Um, the, um, somebody was doing a Facebook live or some sort, um, and she. I think she was at a loft or some something with you know a very high ceiling, but with expo exposed um, you know pipes and stuff. Mm -hmm. So she was pointing the camera was like lower than her you know eye line, and then she was pointing you know sitting the camera was like lower, and then it shoots all the way up. Right. So it looks like there are pipes coming out from her head because <laughs> it's up, and then the pipes are high right here, right? But from this angle up, it looks like she has pipes, like yeah. right, right, swinging up from her head. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. True. And then one time, actually on LinkedIn, I saw a video um, by a guy. He was standing like right below, like a big, um, you know, artifact, like a, a deer's head or some sort, and. Uh, and I secretly messaged him. I said, you know what? I saw your video and, and I just want to give you like, you know, one feedback. And like I said, don't take it as a criticism. The next time, you know, make sure that you don't stand right in front and, and below, you know, you know, a big artifact like that. And he said, oh, why? I want to attract attention. I said, yeah, you did it all right. You attract <laughs> attention, but the look at him, <laughs> but not you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so just you know um make, you know make sure that you have a good background mm -hmm. and i would say the second thing is lighting so now patty i don't know what your room looks like right but it looks like you have windows on the side and mm -hmm. i know that you try to close the blinds right so mm -hmm. that you don't have you know your back you know being super exposed right. and but your face because of that your face is a little dark mm-hmm so, yeah, I, I, so I have my light here, and then what I've noticed is depending on how, where my camera is. Now it's better. See how much lighter oh, it goes, yeah. Now it's a little bit better than before, yeah. a little bit better, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can actually put a light, either a lamp, or you can have a stand-up light, like right next to your desk. Yeah, I actually have a as light on. It's like, as yeah. long as it's in front of you, and mm -hmm. then on the side, mm -hmm. then it's good, you know? Yeah. Um, because you want people to be able to see your face, especially right. if you're coaching. Mm -hmm. Because you know, I see a lot of people they have they have really really bad lighting, mm -hmm. and sometimes I can barely see their face, yeah. and I I just get so turned off when I can't even see them. Right, right. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I've got a, a light on my monitor. Um, okay. I just moved into this office space. I moved from one room into another, so I was still working on getting all the lighting just right and um but i having the light a little bit closer to the camera i think works better so right okay so i want to see if our participants have any questions yeah um monique samara if you guys have any questions just feel free to to unmute yourself and and speak up or you can put them in the chat to me as well Okay, am I the only one on on uh, 
here or is it Samara also here? No, there's yeah, some, there, yeah, here. Samara's here. Okay. Hi, Monique. Hi, Samara, how are you? Hi, Patty. <laughs> Hi, Monique. Thank you for Hi. hanging out with us and doing this. I'm obviously not on video. <laughs> uh, and for a reason, I uh, saw this basically like ha less than half an hour ago, read just the quote really quickly and uh, thought, hey, uh, you know how it is right now at, ho at our houses, everybody's working, we've got the kids uh, in the background. So I'm not in a position to show you uh, my face <laughs> or my background or my lighting or my camera. <laughs> so That's I'm okay. Talking, and I'm looking forward to your uh, tips. Um, on you know you know if you could go through them that's basically what i was looking for and then if something pops up i'll be sure to ask a question yeah. okay so i'll i'll go ahead and ask some questions and um it's vanessa correct melissa melissa oh melissa so yeah. sorry melissa okay. so on social media like on instagram you have like the rock dwayne johnson and uh he does like live and he holds his phone and he's just talking to his followers and then like drew barrymore she'll like get product and she'll like show you how she uses it she has no makeup um those are the kind of videos that i'm going to start doing for my brand kind of um talking to the clients where it's like, you know, I'm like right there in front of them in their living room. It's different than an interview. It's different than right. something that like, which like where I see you talking right now, you're just mm -hmm. direct white wall. Right. So they all, they all have different places. Like uh, they are great for different venues, different types of situations on, right. on a, what platforms. Mm -hmm. So with each platform, do the rules of engagement change? or is it um because it, they're completely different and they, they don't they don't like follow the rules like mm -hmm. you know well what i've been taught anyway so how do you differentiate those kind of videos and what what's best for those t all, all different types of video on social media when you're reaching your clients that's a great okay. question so first of all um do you mind sharing what what your brand is like you know uh, what do you sell is it product or service uh, yes, I'm a fashion designer. I do luxury, one-of-a-kind pieces. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's very, very personal. It's very, very, um, we're, we're sustainable. So it's all about caring uh, what we do to the earth, zero waste, zero, you know, everything's eco-production. Um, and it's all one-of-a-kind. So it's art, couture, means you know save the earth plus personality because each piece is a story mm -hmm. um and so the, my campaigns on the videos come change so um, i'm going to be doing a 10 10 points on why on all the reasons we're sustainable and they're going to be short me, me, less than a minute and each one is going to be you know num point number one and then i tell my point that goes on YouTube, it goes on the story port, storyboard on Instagram. Very, very easy, very relaxed. I'm in your living room or in your office or car. And then I'll do the next nine. That's just one campaign. So mm -hmm. I might do a campaign that's, you know, emphasizes something else, maybe on location, a fashion shoot, whatnot. So they're okay. all different. Okay, perfect. So um, because I like to know whether you are a very personal um, personable business or not, right? Mm -hmm. So since you're in a very personal business, because your client, you, you know, you're B2C, right? So your clients, you know, are, are like consumers. So I would say there are not really rules in terms of how you should do it on different um, platforms. I say it's more about who you are as a brand. Since you have a very personable business, so it's okay to actually do it in the living room. It's okay to, to do it in a more more um, sort of relaxed setting, a relaxed setting than a, than a more corporate business setting. Now, but I do have to say though, um, if you do if you do kind of walk around and, and film yourself, make sure you use a selfie stick because very, very few people have very steady hands and it's hard to hold it very steadily. Mm -hmm. And if you can't hold it steadily, it becomes very shaky. And then when it's too shaky, then it's, it's not so easy for people to focus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and do you recommend the Instagram ring, you know, the social media ring to have um, when, because there's going to be times where I'm going to do the studio, I have a tripod with the Instagram ring. I mean, is that still cool? And is that still, you know, 
not, not just run of the mill or is that is that good or or is that you see that not going away well it's just it that's a personal choice to be honest so it, it's not it's not something that you know um it, it's good or bad i mean you know if you've been using it already it's just you know, just go ahead and you know keep using it and there's not really a trend i would say in in terms of that but it's more like um more of like um you know shooting style right so some people they like to some people like to have that, you know, how, how reality shows are so popular, right? So some people try to have that sort of reality show kind of feel, you know? They like to film themselves, you know, walking around and, and kind of narrating, you know, the day and narrating the business. And that is just, that's just a style. Or if you're a designer, you know, you can, you can actually, um, you don't, you know, for me, if I were you, I wouldn't I do a lot of like walking around type of uh, videos. I would focus on showcasing your design, maybe showcasing how you choose the fabric, right? And then so showcasing how you pair different fabrics, you know, in terms of color, you know, um, draping. I mean, you know, there's so many things you can talk about. So I would focus on your, your skill set and focus on, um, you, know, um, you know, how you use the materials and how you actually use colors on different skin tones. I mean, there's just so many different things. So I would focus on that. Can, can I ask, um, Monique, you said you used a term. I don't know what it meant. You said it, the Instagram ring. The, yeah, the what Instagram is that? ring. It's, what is you've that? seen them. It's, they're, they're light rings. Um, you can have them. A lot of times when you see them, they're on tripods. And when people are, are on Instagram and they're shooting from their phone, they're actually using the rings because it gives you the studio lighting, okay. Um, and it, and it and it talks about like lighting, like um, like she said that it's you don't want to see the person's face in the dark. Right. So it's a really it's a production light with, but it's low low, doesn't cost a whole lot of money. Okay. You know, and you can get this instant professional look. Okay. Good. Thanks. Thanks for that. Yeah. So you know, um, so for me, I actually, um, I don't use a ring light. I have a special light. I'm not using it right now because it's, it's bright enough. Um, so I have a professional light also that I use, you know, if it gets dark, you know, or I just have to do some on camera work myself. Now, so for people who don't have a professional light or ring light, actually any standing lamp will do. You just take the lamp shade off and then it will, you know, brighten the room and then people can see your face. So you don't have to necessarily spend, you know, like 100, 200 bucks to go get a light if you don't want to, especially if you don't go on camera that much, you know, so I recommend, you know, not spending the money. Really any standing lamp would do, like a <laughs> lamp shade off and then position it in front of you, but not exactly right in front of you. It's, it's you know, a little bit off the side mm -hmm. so that, you know, the light doesn't like hit your face like straight on. It's, it, you know, too harsh like that. So, um, you know, a little bit on the side, off the side in front, you know, that's usually good enough to, you know, lit up the room so that your face, you know, it's, it's you know, shown. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I, I have a question kind of goes along with what Monique was saying, um, or maybe it's an observation. I. I have seen a lot of people do like a Facebook live um, and they're, they're walking, you know, as they're talking and the wind is hitting the mic on their phone and, you know, there's, and they're beginning to be out of breath. And then there's all kinds of other noise that goes on around them. And it's to me personally, it's so distracting that I just, I just click off because it, it's, it's just, just really distracting to me. And it seems incredibly unprofessional. So yeah. how do you avoid that and still get sort of the organic uh, personal thing that Monique is talking about? Well, like I said, I wouldn't recommend, I mean, I wouldn't recommend people you know, to walk around with the phone to do every single piece of video. I, I don't think that's necessary to be honest because unless your fitness um, unless, you know, unless you're a fitness, um, you know, instructor or something, then yeah, maybe, you know, you have to be outside, you're teaching people how to jog or how to do things. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I don't really don't see a big necessity to be walking outside with the phone being, you know, the image being shaky and, and you know, the voice being, you know, not great because mm -hmm. you're in an outside environment, you cannot control, you know, the outside ambient noise. Right. So, 
yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. So that's why I said, if you have to, you know, um, shoot yourself walking around, make sure that you use a selfie stick. So it's not, you know, shaky. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I would not do too many of those, actually. I would, I would try to stay indoors because there are many, many different ways to showcase your talent um, being indoor. I, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't see why you need to be outside mm -hmm. unless you're professional, you know, um, calls for you to be outside a lot. Yeah. Okay. Good. Oops, Monique, you're... I can't unmute you, Monique. I, <laughs> I can see your mouth moving, but there's no yeah, sound. I don't think I, yeah. Okay, can, can, you, can, you hear, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, I can hear you now. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. So my next question is, um, so I have three apps that I use for editing a video to okay. give it, you know, titles and get some moving parts going, you know, make it really right. cool. So the, the, what would you recommend is the app, uh, the, the best app right now or the best app that is like maybe that we don't know yet that you know you have heads up of that because you're in the business um, that people most people don't know and because I alternate between my three apps okay so I have to say that you know um, what I don't really do a lot of editing myself I use editors and then because uh -huh. our projects tend to be a little bit more high-end uh -huh. um, so we use professional editing software. Oh, I see. So okay. most people probably would 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 not be using those. Um, but I also know that there are a few you know apps that people use you know on on a personal basis, and they're quite good. And um, so if you're happy with yours, and if they're working fine with you, I would say just stick with them. They're fine. They're fine. They're great. I mean, they're they're other. But I just thought maybe if you knew more of an insider, like you know. Uh, extra like a special secret type of app because um, <laughs> as a, no because as a small business you right. know or I'm a micro business and as a lot many people we have to make our own videos so we right. do the raw edit we do the raw video right. and then you have to do you know give it some extra extraness right. so right. you need that, that app um, because you you know you, I'm not a corporation I don't have right. a, I don't have a video floor where I have my right. video guys and the lighting yeah. and everything yeah. So, um, yeah, I use, there's three different apps. I use Canva, Ripple, and uh, Video, I think it's Video Boost, and I think I have a fourth one. Okay. Um, and I make different ones, and, and because they also are all, always evolving, they're always updating. Right. So, um, but I thought maybe you know some more insider secrets. No, not really. I mean, I think a lot of, um, I think a lot of companies, you know, um, have different apps. It's just depending on how easy they make it you know for consumers you know yeah they're those they're all yeah, very the easier friendly. they make it the, the better because most yeah. people just don't have like you know um really sophisticated editing skills right yeah. so if they make it too hard then most people won't be able to use it so i, I know a lot of people that use canva and canva seems to be a good one and also they have different graphics which i actually like you know you can use it and I'm not too familiar with, I, I mean, I've heard of Ripple. I don't think I've used it um, myself. And um, and I, I don't know about the third one that you mentioned. Yeah, Video Boost. Um, Video Boost was uh, under a different name and then they changed their name, but they, they're they still pretty good. Okay. Um, so anyway, all right. Well, that was my last question so far. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> So Samara, do you have any questions? I know that you can't really, um, you know, um, show your face. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I had, uh, one question that popped in my mind is if you, uh, so one of the things that I'm trying to do, I'm a facilitator. And as you know, right now we can't gather in person. So I want to be able to use uh, the virtual platforms for interactive exercises and things like that. And I wanted your opinion on tips uh, for creating that environment of facilitation on video, because uh, I can't really, in this kind of context, sit and look like you are right now where I'm just sitting in one place. I'm gonna be doing things like charting and trying and uh, you know bringing in some physical activity to the scenario. So my camera will probably be somewhere far and we're pretending we're in a classroom. And then, uh, and I'm considering platforms right now. So Zoom is not the only one uh, mm -hmm. and, and the best one necessarily for the most interactivity. They do breakout sessions and 
breakout groups and things like that and polling, but I need more than that where there's more design thinking. So any thoughts on this? Uh, I really, I'm not sure if that's your area of expertise. I'm throwing something at you here, but just in case you've seen it uh, or you've watched other people doing something similar. So, and so you're, saying that that Zoom, so you're saying that Zoom, it's not really um, your first choice because of what you need to do, correct? Y yeah, so it's basically just, it's kind of like recording you, but it's mm -hmm. not itself a platform where you could do things like sticky notes and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, collabor collaboration as if okay. you're sitting on a table uh, type of things. And the, some of the things I'm looking at uh, to do, and honestly, I have not found the right one yet. Okay. I've asked in all my network. Yeah. Thank so you. So I have, I have seen people suggest a uh, WebEx. Have you looked into that? Yeah, but I didn't know that they did. Uh, do you know which version is the one that is I best? don't know which version. I'm sure they have different versions, but people who want to have breakout sessions and things like that, um, they have suggested web. web oh, they? no, I, I know that Zoom has the version which is premium, which has the breakout groups. Okay. My concern is, and like, like you're talking about, you know, the tricks for video. So when they all come together with me after they've done their own, if I can have a uh, platform that's in their group, let's say they're charting on a flip chart on a, mm -hmm. in, in real life, how can I mirror that on video and have them work together, uh, you know, plant sticky notes and ideas and other than a million chats of, uh, and, and people talking over each other. So there's a product that was created by the group that can then be shared in the larger group and none of them are in the same physically in the same room. And that might be too much to ask, but I wanted to see if you've seen so something So you're saying like taking, you're saying taking, um, taking um, a sticky note or taking a video from somebody, from someone, you know, on the other side and, and sharing that, have them sharing that, correct? Yeah, it's almost like they're recording themselves and the visuals that they created together and then bringing it to the larger session and then yeah. also uh, culminating all of that, standing up there like as I would facilitate with my normal body language as a facilitator in person. So I can look into, um, so I'm part of, um, I'm part of a, um, you know, executive business development program and they have mm -hmm. been saying, I, I, I wasn't paying attention to um, the type of um, platform they were using. So yeah. we had, we actually, every time um, when we do it, and we just stopped because of the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. And so they have different cohorts in different areas in the country. So they have yeah. one in, Central, I mean, in LA, Southern California, that's, that's where the one I belong to. Great. They have one in Philadelphia, they have one in New York, and I believe they have one in Philadelphia, New York, um, I believe they have one more, Atlanta, I think. So they have, so the four, the four groups are, are uh, conversing together. Mm -hmm. And um, usually one group would have a presenter and all of us can see, you know, uh, the PowerPoint and, and can, can, you know, see and hear the presenter. And, um, and if they, you know, write something on a board, they were able to zoom in and pull up and we can all see it. So I can look into what platform they use and then okay. maybe um, send that to Patty and Patty. I, yeah, anything like that. I just put it in the chat box, my email as well. So if you want to uh, oh. you know, send me uh, directly an email. On, okay. Uh, or yeah, and any tips that you have on okay. what not to do also <laughs> from what you've observed. I kind of like how you at least started with that. You're like, I know what really does not work. One, two, three. So that's good for me to hear. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So I would say another thing to pay attention to is, is the audio. Um, a lot of people don't really pay attention to the audio. So I, I'm a huge fan of good audio, you know, because I want to be able, I want people to be able to hear me well. Mm -hmm. So when, if you're recording in a noisy environment, you know, try to, um, when you do it on the phone, you don't really need a specific microphone, just use the EPs, you know, um, so that, you know, people can hear you better. Now, I, when I do it for myself, I actually use a lavalier mic where I plug in, um, maybe I can show you, hang on one sec. 
So it looks like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I clip it on my onto my clothes and then that records straight into my camera when I do like, you know, small, very short video clips for, for my company. Mm -hmm. um, and regardless whether I'm in a, you know, um, noisy background or not, I always use this because it captures the sound so much better um, mm -hmm. than you just do it, you know, recording it in a room tone uh, from the mic, you know, on your cam, I mean, on your phone camera. Mm -hmm. so is that with Bluetooth? Is that a Bluetooth thing or is that well, with a cable? This is a Bluetooth thing. Um, I plug this directly into um, my phone. So this is called okay. a Longolia mic. I can actually type the name type yeah, the okay. for you guys. So it's um, so it's called Longolia mic. Mm -hmm. and, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah and it's, it's, I mean a lot of a lot of places sell this and the, the professional ones they sell it for about a hundred dollars or so but there are places that sell these you know for less than that and you don't really need a professional gray one per se i mean as long as you know you clip it on your clothes it captures really really well and then um your sound will be so much you know more crisp right yeah. because there's, there's a difference between recording from the room tone on the camera because when you just record it with your phone right it also it also records the room tone as well mm -hmm. so your voice there's a difference between using a lavalier mic than using you know the, the mic from the camera yeah so i would recommend if you want it to sound better and more professional to just spend a little bit money and, and buy something like this mm -hmm. so just to clarify uh i i'm curious about like how your whole setup is right now so you are, you've got to tell me kind of what kind of cameras in front of you, if that's okay for you to share. Uh, and then also you said it's plugged into your phone. So you dialed in not using your computer, you dialed in using a phone into this call. Oh yeah. So, so we on Zoom. So obviously this is, you know, my camera, uh, my camera, I mean, from the, from my laptop, but yeah. when I do videos for myself, I don't, I don't use my laptop camera because laptop camera doesn't record as well as phone camera. The phone camera is a lot more sophisticated. So I actually have a tripod. So I set my camera on the tripod and then I plug my mic directly into, you know, my phone. Um, and then I, I sometimes use a light and sometimes I don't. I have it right in front of me. And it's just depending on, you know, um, you know how, how, how good or bad the lighting is, you know, on a particular day. Um, so today I have my overhead light, um, the seating light, and that seems to be enough. So that's what I'm using. But on a really dark, rainy day, then, then I would turn on my other light. And that's my, that's my basic setup. Mm -hmm. And you're, you don't have that uh, Lavalier uh, mark, mic on you right now? No, not right now. Yeah. Uh, okay. All yeah. right. Well, you, you sound good. Uh, really. Yeah, because I mean, <laughs> I have no noise. <laughs> I close my door. There's no, there's no noise in here. Yeah. It's just a water fountain. And you guys seem to be, you know, I tested it with Patty and Patty can't quite hear it. So I mm -hmm. think it, it's absolutely okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so it's pretty quiet. So that's why it's fine. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm going to, I'm mostly interested in things go, being live for hours. Yeah. Uh, right. Audio and video. Uh, yeah. So if you're, if you have kids in the room and, 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 and they're, they're, you know, they're commotions, then I would say, yeah, you can just get a headphone and plug that into, you know, plug it directly into your laptop. Mm -hmm. Right. be fine. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a sneak peek as to how I look now, and now you'll know better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't wait to see. I told you the lighting wasn't good, but this is what no, no, I'm Oh, Samara, so you're probably, I mean, you're probably seen, fine. So I'm hiding in our sunroom with the bright light around my head. I knew this was not good lighting. <laughs> no, 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 but, but I've seen way worse than the than, than no so I wasn't going to have you do what you that. Do. I wasn't going to have you do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> M Melissa, M M Melissa, I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you, do you like my San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge behind me? Well, it's not the San Francisco Gate Bridge uh, backdrop that I don't like. I, what I oh. don't like about, about people using that is because uh -huh. when you move, um, I see shadows going in and out. Right, right, right. Uh -huh. yeah, I was just having fun with the little phone app, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and you are not the first one I've seen, you know, people have different <laughs> backdrops. It, I mean, it's kind of cool, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. But at the same time, I personally, um, 
I personally would not use that for me because not only that, you know, I will see, you know, shadows in and out. Also, I'm really particular. And because, you know, we have hair, right? So, you know, so it's kind of creating a halo around your hair because it can't really show your hair strength. Oh, uh, right? yeah, right, right. So I remember a long time ago, I did a commercial and, um, and we, uh, I don't remember why we couldn't exactly shoot, shoot it on that particular beach that the client wanted. So we said, okay, um, all right. So we shoot it on, you know, with the green screen, just like what you did. So I right? Right. We shot them in, you know, with the green screen and then we superimposed them, you know, um, onto a beach. Uh -huh. But it took us so long. Oh because, yeah. Like, you know, like like you know, trying the hair. to like, do the hair strands. I mean, the, you know, fine hair, like yeah. flying in the air, like that. Oh my god, it took us like days, <laughs> and we couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't even. I mean, it, it looked okay, but in my eye, because I have a very critical eye, in my yeah. eye, it's still not perfect. But yeah. you know, the clients, you know, is fine because most that's what they want. Not yeah. Be, they cannot see the details, right? So it's fine. But for me, since I'm so particular, you know, like the way that I see your hair right now, I, I personally do not Right, like that. right, so, right, right. Yeah. But even only if I was only, I can go put, put my superhero costume on and then you <laughs> won't have hair. I'll just have a whole thing covered. So then, <laughs> then, I'll be, then I'll be super, super sharp. No, but I mean, it's kind of fun. I can see, I can see why people use it. It's fun. I don't mind it. And, um, but I personally just would not use it. Yeah, right. but if we want to do, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I mean, people love it. People seem to seem to really dig different backgrounds, and it's kind of fun. It just gives people a different taste, you know. So yeah, it works for yeah, you. I've seen it. Ahead. I've seen it. Don't let me stop you from using that. <laughs> I've seen it not just for the background. Uh, it's mostly, uh, and I think that has been effective. Some people have been good about plugging in somehow their brand. Mm -hmm. on the so that you're seeing their logo the whole time. So to me, that was actually effective. It just uh, plants it in your memory. You associate their face mm -hmm. with that look. Uh, still don't know how to do that. I have to learn it myself, but I thought uh, that's a really cool thing to do. You know, um, Mara, Melissa, the tripod, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, I, I was just gonna um, tell Samara that, that some of the questions she was asking before kind of sounds a little bit more like educational platforms. So when I taught uh, at university, um, we used two different ones. Uh, we used Blackboard when I was at UCSD, and then we used Adobe Connect when I was at National University. And both of them have, because they're, that's what they're designed for, is to be teaching online, being able to send people into breakout rooms, letting them work on separate projects, coming back together and doing presentations. That's exactly what it's geared for, you know? So trying to take something like Zoom, that's really more of a corporate yeah. tool or a business tool and trying to make it do that educational um, work, you know, kind of doesn't work, but, and neither does WebEx, you know? So, uh, but looking at one that's really yeah. geared toward education is probably what you're looking for. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank Patty, you. thanks for reminding me. Yeah, the platform that, that we'll be using, I think it was Blackboard. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Good to hear. Yay, thanks. Um, and Melissa, the, um, the tripod you use for your phone, um, is that something you can get like at Walmart or Target or did you go to the photography store? Um, the tripod itself, you can get it anywhere. But I have a friend who, uh, who did something special for me. I'll, I'll show it to you. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, um, I can okay. see that. So my friend did this for me. So this part is is um, specially made to fit oh. the Ah. So okay. the tripod itself, it, I mean, you can get it anywhere. It's the same right, right. professional one, but it doesn't matter. Any tripod will do. But this part, I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. Yeah, it's that. it's but it has to have a tripod with an an anchor for the phone, so it has to secure the phone on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so this part it's it's tailor made to to sit on this, and right. this you can you can um you know um this plate here it goes it it you know um you can unlock it it slides out and, and every, it out. every tripod has this every tripod has this plate. Right. Um, but I don't know if. 
Um, I'm actually more concerned about the part where the phone goes because. The, yeah, the, so my phone goes on here. Right, but that's custom made for you. Yes. So yeah. Somebody did that for you. So that's what I'm asking is where, to, where would I go get one of the, the tripod? You know, not the tripod itself, because that's that right. you can get the that anyway. Right, the phone, right? Yeah. You yeah. know what? Actually, you know what? Um, I have not used that, but um, I remember I was um, I was shooting, you know, um, a series of uh, recipe videos for client last fall, and originally the client wanted us to because they they overseas they cannot come to the shoot, so they would talk about um, uh, us, you know, uh, Facebook you know, uh, doing a live stream of what we're shooting for them to see. We didn't end up doing that. But because of that, I actually went to Best Buy and I bought something and we never ended up doing that. So that's why I never tested it. But I believe Best Buy sells something similar. You may mm. want to check it out. Okay. Yeah. So it's just, a, it's just a camera, it's just a camera phone mount on a tripod. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. The camera phone mount. Yeah. All right. Any other questions for our, our subject matter, smarty pants in the hot seat? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, but Melissa, your company's called Dunk Punk. Duck Punk, right? yeah. Yeah. So, oh, duck is like in quack quack? Yeah, yeah like, oh. like a duck, yeah. Oh, duck punk. Yeah, so, duck punk, so, yeah. So what does that mean or how did that come about and how does it relate to what you offer? Okay, so um, this was back in 2000. I was trying to find a name for my company, and I was at this, uh, you know, um, I was at this park, and you know, it has a you know tiny lake, and I was feeding a ducks with breadcrumbs, and there was a duck who had a mohawk, just like my logo, and he was charging uh... over food. And after 40 minutes, all the other ducks were like, "Oh, I'm full. I'm just hanging out." And this one duck, he was free charge over. And uh, I kept looking at him thinking, wow, you've been eating this whole time. How can you still be hungry, right? How much more can you eat? You just like this little tiny duck. And uh, so when I go home, you know, after I went home, I just couldn't shake that image off my head. So I started playing with the word punk rock, uh, punk duck, mohawk. And then six weeks later, I decided to name my company The Punk. But that's half of the story. He actually became my inspiration because as a female entrepreneur working in the advertising and entertainment business, it's very, it's very male dominated, it's, it's very Jewish. So I have to remind myself that every time when I come across a hurdle, I have to be like him and don't give up. And always Definitely. go for the food. <laughs> so that, that's my fun story. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Great. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. So Melissa, in terms of, um, people that want to do like a Facebook live uh, mm -hmm. and, and maybe they want to make it uh, sort of a point in time, you know, just, just right now, I just want to reach out to my clients and say this one quick thing. What are some, what would be like maybe some top three tips that maybe you would give them? Well, um, Facebook Live is absolutely fine. I mean, it's very easy to do. Everybody can, can do it and it's very easy to jump on. Um, I would I would still, you know, go with, you know, my, my, my three things I said earlier. Um, you know, make sure that you have a good background. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure the lighting is good mm -hmm. and make sure that your room is, is actually quiet. If not, you know, use some sort of um, headphone because, uh, you know, sound is important. And if you have to do it walking, then absolutely use a selfie stick. So those are my, my four things. I've seen people like do Facebook Live at the airport, you know, where there's so many people walking behind, it's yeah. so noisy, and yeah. then they're walking, and then so it's like the phone keeps shaking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, I don't understand why you want to do a Facebook Live at the airport. I mean, people, I mean, how can people pay attention, really? Yeah. You know, I, I don't get it. What if there's you know, more than one have, person? Uh, people have Oh, I was going to say, what if there's more than one person, again? one more than one in your video? So it's like you and two other people or something. Any, any things that you want to be aware of if there's more than one of you in the picture? Two people sitting together next, next to each other on Facebook Live? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, same thing. Two people. I mean, 
if you want to address the audience, then the two of you should, you know, sit next to each other, right? But if you just want to live stream the two of you talking, um, then you could actually put the camera on. You can actually put the camera on the side and let's say, let's say I'm sitting here and I have a guest sitting in front of me, right? Mm -hmm. So I would not put the camera here. I would actually, you know, make the camera, you know, uh, over here on the side. Mm -hmm. um, and then we were talking and then the camera will be getting the two of us, but it's, it'll be more of like a side profile. Oh, of a frontal profile. Good. If you want to do like an interview style, Mm -hmm. and have the camera capture the both of you. Mm -hmm. And then if you do it that way, you can actually look toward the camera a little bit sometimes. So it's not only your side profile the whole time. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So let's say if, let's say you are my guest, right? And my camera, is, let's say, okay, my camera is right here, right? You're my guest, right? So I'm talking to you right now, and then I'll be looking at the camera a little bit, and then I'll go back to you. So I look to the camera a little bit sometimes. Right. So that it's not just a side profile. But yeah. I, I don't see that a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't see that a lot. So most people don't use the live stream for that purpose. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Wow. But so, if you have to use it, that would be a way to do it. Yeah. Well, any other questions that you that you guys might have for Melissa while we've got her here? Let's not let her get away from us without all of our questions being answered. Um, I'm, I'm good. Thank you so much, Melissa, for your time on this. I, and thank you for all the ideas that came from everybody. I learned quite a bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm, to hear that. That's yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, great. And where are you guys? Are you guys in San Diego or LA? I'm in San Diego. Yes. Samara, are you in San Diego too? Yeah, San Diego, oh. you know, right now specifically, but <laughs> mostly I've been uh, kind of living in San Diego, but working way outside. And now it's like, yep, San Diego is everything. So okay. part of the reason why video matters. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, I, I hope that I get to meet you guys soon, you know, after this whole <laughs> virus thing is over. <laughs> yes, yes, Looking yes. forward to it. Thank you. And, and don't, yeah, thank don't you. forget, you guys, when, uh, when we post these, they'll, they'll be up on the CWI website under the online forums, and you can share these, you know, out with, with anybody. It doesn't, you know, we don't have any problems with these being shared with people outside of CWI and just, you know, ex expanding the wealth and sharing the wealth with everybody because this is, you know, a, a great time for us to all band together and do what we can do to help one another through this, right? So not keep it to ourselves, but be able to share yeah, our, the wealth and expertise that we have within our midst with others too. So, Melissa, I want to just thank you so much for being with us today, and I thank all of you that joined us online. You had really, really great questions and great discussion, and be sure to watch for all of our other online forums. They're designed for you. They're designed for the busy, busy professional business leader, and just be watching our Facebook page, be watching LinkedIn, and you'll see these advertised as they become available, and we look forward to making additional connections with you. So everyone have a fabulous, fabulous yeah. rest of your day, and, uh, and thanks again, Melissa. Thanks so yeah. much. You okay. Thank you, Bye. Melissa. Thank you, Patty. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, Samara. Bye, Monique. Bye. 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 Bye